Good morning, everybody. This morning, I'm gonna be making some like eggy toast or like eggs in a basket, maybe, where I like cut a hole in the bread and then I put an egg inside of it and fry it up. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to show you guys. So, this is a piece of sourdough that we have here, and I'm gonna take this just wine glass here and kind of cut a big hole. You can use a cookie cutter too, but I, I don't have a cookie cutter, I just have a wine glass. I'm gonna cut a hole in the center of the bread and take out the center there so that I have a little spot for my egg to sit. Look at that, that's a perfect hole. And uh, you can also like fry this up, it's delicious if you want to. I don't know, I don't think I have enough room in my pan to do that, so I'll probably just eat this. Since I already got this glass dirty by cutting the hole out of the bread, I figured I could uh, scramble up my eggs inside of there. Heck yeah, not making as many dirty dishes. So I put some butter on one side of the bread, and now I've got some butter in the pan while the pan is preheating, letting it like get nice and melty so that I can spread it all over the pan. And then I pop my bread in there, let it fry just a little bit, let it get a little golden, and then I put my eggs in the hole here. And then I let those cook up and then I flip them over and uh, we got eggy toast or uh, eggs in a basket. So it's starting to heat up now. I can see the bubbling start to happen here and the bread is starting to cook a little bit. And I don't want to overcook it so I'm going to put my eggs in now. The only problem that I've ever had with this is the eggs end up like running out. So yeah, I don't know how to prevent that. Eggs away! Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Now the hard part is flipping it over. I don't think I can film myself flipping it over but I'm going to flip it over now. Woo wee! That looks delicious. Holy macaroni. See, that's what always happens with the backside. The egg goes all over the place, but it still is good. Oh no, I fogged up the lens because it was too close to the steaminess. So we figured since today was such a nice day outside, like it's a beautiful day outside, we'd head out to Daytona Beach. Check it out, see if there's anything that we can see out there, like something to do, maybe get some lunch. See how it looks after the hurricane, because I know that that area was hit pretty hard. So yeah, let's go to the beach. I don't know if we're gonna go swimming. A little bit too cold for that, but we will go check out the beach. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to Movie Phone. And we are. To movie phone. Why don't you just tell me what movie you want to see? <laughs> I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> um, hopefully, you guys like Seinfeld and get all of those awesome references. But we are on our way to the beach. Out by the beach. Oi. Uh, so, what? I wanted to ask everybody like, this is kind of a long trip out to the beach, down back roads, and like, it's kind of a little bit boring. Uh, are there any like games that you guys play when you're driving long distances? Like what's your favorite road trip game to play? We always play a game with like 20 questions basically and we do um, like a TV show or an actor or an actress or uh, like a band or like an entertainer something like that and then we just kind of play 20 questions with it and um, that's what we do to like not be bored but yeah what do you guys do? Also, uh, we can't play that license plate bingo game because there's not enough. Everybody, it's a two lane road, so there's people like heading at us, so we don't see their license plates. So this is the road that we're on, and the only license plate we're ever gonna see is that guy's right there. So yeah, we wouldn't really be able to play that game. So as we're driving down this road, I don't know if you saw any of those like piles that were on the side of the road, but that's all from the hurricane. Like they haven't picked all of the big yard waste up yet. Here's a better example. Whoa. That was quick. See it all? Ding dang. We're finally here. We are on, is this A1A? Beachfront Avenue. Yeah. We're finally on A1A, which is like the road that's like parallel to the beach. Like the beach is like right over there. Um, and so I think we're gonna eat lunch out here. This place lost its sign. Oh dang, yeah. There's a lot of um, like damage out here from the hurricane. Ding dang. But yeah, we're gonna eat lunch out here. And where we're gonna go is actually on the pier. And I think that part of the pier actually got washed away in the hurricane. So we, ha we haven't seen it yet, but that's just what we heard from a friend of ours. So we're gonna check it out and see what it looks like. Um, also, we wanna eat at this place. We've never eaten there before, or you have. I've eaten there before. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where it's at. Oh no, but yeah. So we'll be right back. Hopefully we will have found the place. We'll see. We finally found our parking spot. It's kind of hard to like find parking on the beach. Well, the beach is actually closed right now. So we can't park on the beach which I never really like parking on the beach because I feel right. like it's bad for the beach. Yeah. Yeah, so it we is. don't we don't usually do that. We usually try to find parking outside of the beach like in a public lot and that was hard to find, but we yeah, found it. We found one. Yay. So we're good. So now let's go see the pier and the foods. It's a bit windy today. It's a Florida fall day. It's still very hot. People are out at the beach. We're headed to that pier where there's a restaurant called Krabby Joe's and you can kind of see a little bit, I'll zoom in on it, but you can see where the damage is. Can you guys kind of see it? 
and the next pylon out there. So that's how much was lost off the pier. All right, let's see how cold it is. Oh, I thought you were gonna do it. Oh no, I don't wanna do it. I'm wearing my flip flops still. You can see some of the speed limit signs and where the traffic lanes would be if uh, you drove your car out here, but the beach is closed right now, so you can't. Because some of the pier was washed away, they had to put up this sign because those pieces of the pier are out there in the water. This is where we're headed, to Krabby Joe's, right on the pier. I just was copying exactly what Jen said on her Snapchat. Where's Moon Shoes? That's Jen's Snapchat name. Pretty intense uh, how much this entire place moves because of the waves. <laughs> I was gonna try to take a time lapse but my phone camera wouldn't focus on anything other than the screen here in front of us. There's like a little hole right there. Would it focus there? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I can fit the camera in there because I would, might drop it out the window. I feel like you know you're at like a quality greasy spoon restaurant when there's just like advertisements all over the table. We got some fried pickles. <laughs> They look awesome. Those are fried pickle spears, which might not turn out as good as like fried pickle yes, chips. They will. Yes, they will. But we got some ranch, which will be delicious. Legit. That is a, it's called the Rhythm and Blues Burger. It's bacon and blue cheese. Heck yeah. What'd you get? I got, let me open it up so you can like actually see it. It's a BLT, but the tomato is a fried green tomato. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> From the salt water, the blade of this fan just flew off. It's amazing. I feel like my favorite thing so far about them is the fact that I can see the ocean through the floor right here. That actually kind of scares me. Oh really? Yeah. I think it's okay. I know how to swim and my phone's waterproof. <laughs> We're good to go. We're heading out onto the pier. I'm sorry that it's windy, but this is where everybody's fishing from. Here's the damage to the pier from the hurricane. That's pretty intense right there. Wow. And there's a surfer out there. Now I'm certain that they cut these main support beams, but you can still see like the breaks in the handrails, which is real intense. And then also if you look down in the water right there, I'll wait till there's like a low spot in the waves. You can see one of the main support pylons right there. Wow. That's crazy. And then there's that one out there that's all broken. It's pretty intense. Who? what's this like red thing floating out there? Oh, no. I think it's a ping pong paddle. It's a clown nose. Is it a clown nose? Do you guys see it out there? I have no idea what I'm pointing the camera at. Waka waka. I want, I want a, a chest full of rubber chickens. <laughs> Debate, counterpoint, <laughs> point. God, that Muppet Show is so good. <laughs> Look at this guy surfing out here. Where'd he go? There he is. It's kind of chilly out, by the way. It is. They're all wearing wetsuits out there while they're surfing. Look at this bird. He has a piece of, like, fried fish or something. Oh, look. They all heard. They all found out. <laughs> they're like, we know that you have that piece of fried food. We're coming to get you. Ooh, Bird Wars. Ooh, Bird Wars is my favorite Discovery Channel show. I wish there was a way for me to show you guys how much this dock is moving right now. I guess this is a pier. It is shaking around all over the place. Because it's low tide now, they opened it back up for people to drive on the beach. Under the boardwalk, there was a car driving by. Under the boardwalk, boardwalk. I thought you were gonna join in me singing. Boardwalk, boardwalk. Here's that sign that says caution submerged debris. There's where we just were, and there's the end of the pier. Then if you look kind of right over here, this is low tide so we can see it now, but I think that that is part of the pier that is washed over here. That's pretty intense, right? So at Daytona, there's two different sides. There's the Daytona Beach side, and then there's the Intercoastal Waterway on this side. And we're walking out on a path to go check out the Intercoastal Waterway right now at sunset. So there's like, the sun is setting and it's beautiful, and I can't wait to show you guys. You can kind of see it right there, but we have a little ways to go. We might actually miss it. <laughs> it's going down pretty darn quick. I don't see anybody. It is so nice looking out here, but there are a lot of bugs. And they're all like little biting flies, and they're biting the heck out of me.
I just wanted to show you guys like as we walk out what kind of this path behind us that we walked down oh, yeah. so once we get down to the other pavilion or point it backwards at us again and show you guys how far back this little dock goes out it goes like we're kind of like across water like we're going across like yeah, this well, is all you water can see, right well sort of after yeah, this is a mangrove swamp after the uh the storm this filled up a lot more than it normally would be but these are all like little mangroves I'm trying to like show you guys this crab in the tree but the camera doesn't want to focus on the crab in the tree I wish I get manual focus. Should I like grab him? No, you already you already scared him away. There you go. There's the dock back behind us. We're still not to the like the next turn in the dock. Do they it? I think it's crazy that there are crabs in the trees. Tree crab, crabbing it up in the trees. I wish the bugs weren't so bad, or else we would have stayed back there and seen all this. There it is. There's the walkway that we just came down. You can barely barely see the dock where we were watching the sunset. But look at how beautiful it is out here. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lower this down a little bit. Uh, I'd say that's what the sky actually looks like. Man, I love this. Like, it is so beautiful out here. I could just stay. If there weren't bugs everywhere, I would totally just be here all day long. I'm watching the sunset. Oh, dang. The sunset got cooler as I like walked just the other side of this pavilion. That is so beautiful and there's some weird noises happening. Okay, tree crab. I was hoping to get a little bit closer view at one of these tree crabs. Oh, he was on my hand for a second, and then he just jumped off into the water. Okay, how about this guy? You doing all right, Mr. Tree Crab? But I'm, I'm like blown away that there are tree crabs out here. I want a tree crab for a pet. What do you guys think? Can we have a pet tree crab? Do you think he'll like pinch me? Oh, he's on my finger right now. Okay, there we go, tree crab. No, no, no. All right, camera, come on. Focus on the tree crab, there he is, okay. We're best friends now. Basically best friends with this tree crab. Oh, he's like eating stuff off my finger. That's weird, right? Tree crab, my best friend is a tree crab. What should we name it? I don't know, I'm not good at coming up with tree crab names. Where'd the girls go? I had to let him go because he started crawling up my arm towards my armpit. I'm not cool with having like crustaceans in my armpit because I feel like that would tickle a lot. So I let him go. He's now living freely amongst the other tree crabs. I like this idea. They give you like a flag so you can cross the street with like, please don't hit me. Please, cars, I have a flag. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Back home from an amazing trip to the beach. It felt so good just being out there. Like being on the water on that dock or on the pier, I guess, eating lunch. It was just like, ah, feels good. So now we're just gonna sit down and relax and like really take it in, relax even further than we are now. And we're gonna go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.